Good day, everyone. My name is Jessamay Salvoza Peralta from Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in Mathematics, Section 2A. Today, we'll discuss the birth of set theory. Basically, the objectives is to identify the personalities associated with these branches of mathematics. The history of set theory is rather different from the history of most other areas of mathematics. For most areas, a long process can eventually be traced in which ideas evolve until an ultimate flash of inspiration, often by a number of mathematics almost simultaneously produces a discovery of major importance. The discovery of set theory can be credited only to one person, and he is George Cantor. Before we take up the main story of Cantor's development of theory, we first examine some early contribution. The idea of infinity had been the subject of deep thought from the time of Greeks. Zeno of Elea. He made a Greek philosopher famous for posing so-called paradox, which challenged mathematician view of real world for many centuries. He made an early contribution through with his problem on infinite. By the Middle Age, discussion of infinite had led to comparison of infinite set. For example, Albert of Sassany, he proved that a beam of infinite length has the same volume as three space. He proved his by sewing a beam into imaginary pieces, which he assembled into successive concentric shells which filled space. Bernard Bolsado, a philosopher and mathematician of a great depth of thought. In 1847, he conceived their sets with the definition of an embodiment of the idea or concept which we conceive when we regard the arrangement of its part as a matter of indifference. He defended that the concept of an infinite set at all this time, many believed that infinite set could not exist. He gave an example to show that unlike for finite sets, the elements of an infinite set could be put in one-to-one -one correspondence with element of one of its proper subsets. Thus, idea eventually came to be used in the definition of finite set. In 19th century, so the inception of set theory, where mathematicians are struggling to understand the concept of infinity. The set theory came to put on a proper mathematical basis. Cantor's early work was a number theory and he published a number of articles on this topic between 1867 and 1871. In 1872, a year of an important event happened when Cantor visited Switzerland where he met Richard Dedekind, and the friendship between them grew that lasted for many years. The letters they exchanged is the evidence of Dedekind's deep abstract and logical way of thinking which influenced Cantor in his idea about set theory. In 1874, Cantor published a follow-up paper in Curly's journal. During that time, set theory was the center of controversy with the Leopold Kronecker as a leading figure of its opposition. Cantor published on a characteristic property of real algebraic number which formally marked the birth of set theory. And because of this, Cantor was considered as the father of set theory. Cantor formulated the real number or sequence of rational numbers. There is a motivational drive to understand the notion of infinity. He brought the concept of proving two sets to be equivalent if there is one-to-one -one correspondence, which is a very powerful concept even today. Using these counters also proved that there are infinity level of infinities or infinitely many infinite cardinal numbers. 
1879 to 1884, Cantor published the sixth part of The Rise on a set theory. This work appears on Mathematici Annalen, and it was a brave more by the editor to publish and work despite the growing opposition to Cantor's ideas. 1882, Ferdinand von Liedenmann proved that Pi is Trisendel Kronecker was built on the fact that he believed only on constructive mathematics. In 1889, Giuseppe Piano introduced that symbol E as a notation for is an element of its the language of the set theory. It comes for the first letter of the Greek word meaning is. 1895 and 1897, Cantor published his final double theories on set theory. It contains an introduction that looks like a modern book on set theory, defining set, subset, etc. Cantor proved that if A and B are set theory, with A equivalent to a subset of B and B, equivalent to a subset of A and B are equivalent. 1897, Cesar Borrelli Forte published his paradox about ordinal numbers. 1902, Bernard Russell published the ultimate paradox that goes this R is the set of all sets that are not numbers of themselves. 1904, Yuri Sermelo proved that every set can be well ordered. He also formulated the axiom of choice of Sermelo's theorem. 1908, Sermelo attempted the axiomization of set theory to eliminate the paradox. Because of this, he was regarded as the ancestor of the modern set theory. 1922, Abraham A. Frankel improved Sermelo theorem, thus making it Sermelo Frankel theory of sets. This theory is composed of nine ashram defining the basic concept of set theory. Nowadays, mathematician considers Sermelo Frankel theory of set as either ZF, Sermelo Frankel set theory admitting the axiom of choice, or ZFC. Sir Mello Frankel said theory extended to include the axiom of choice. So now let's proceed to our next reporter.